Hello, I'm Intrusive and welcome back to From the Depths. Unfortunately, I don't get ready to do a, much of an intro spiel because we've got uh, an emergency situation bearing down upon us, but you know the ammo process I put in? Well, I put in these as well, which was recommended to me by someone in the comments. I can't remember the name for the life of me, but uh, you get two action control blocks, and one of them is when you are less than 20% ammo, turn ammo processors on. When you have more than 25% ammo, turn ammo processors off. And that should mean that these aren't running all the time, which will save us some metal, and when we use them in emergencies. I would go over that in more detail, but we're about to be attacked by these guys, a Drake column. So let's go straight into the fight. Yep. Now, one thing I want to check is, um, uh, oh, I want to bring people in. Yes, begin battle. The missiles on top of the home base, there's two rows of them, right? There's two rows of 12. And it did seem that 12 of them weren't headed towards the enemy. They just went up. I don't know. Maybe they were the ones that killed the HMS, uh, the HMSS bustle. Uh, I don't know if the bush went down to them or not. If, I think it was must have been friendly fire from the positioning, but I didn't see anything. But those missiles were definitely not flying towards the enemy, so I want to check where they're going. So let's begin the battle. Eh, out of map mode. Yeah. Half of them are going towards the enemy and half of them aren't. I don't know why that is. I, must, I need to check, like... Their, uh, their stats and stuff, but we confirmed that they aren't working. Wow, we've already killed three enemies. Oh, that is awesome. Are they firing missiles at us? Because I want to see my uh, anti-missile systems working. They're not getting a chance. They're just dead. Oh my god, we are... We are murdering them. I'm... I am very happy with the armaments we have. Are you, like, despawning? Yeah, you are. Well, that was a win. That was definitely a win. Okay, there are more enemies on the way. But... That was insane. That was awesome. I love it. I want more of it. Now, why are some of you broken? Infrared seeker, EMP, blah, 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 target prediction, camera, one turn. You are the same missiles. So why is one half of this not... You are being fired, right? So that's not the problem. So you are connected. The question is, why aren't you getting a target lock? Are you not one-turning properly? You must be one-turning properly. Camera, explosive EMP. All I can think is that we'd have to place another control block and then just try and force it that way. But that shouldn't need to be done. That's the issue. I don't understand why half of these aren't getting the signal and half of these are. Like, you're all connected, right? Connected, 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 connected. Connected, 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 connected. Okay, so they're all connected. Identify friend or foe, staggered. Like, they're all staggered. Like, they did go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They did launch staggered, and it went down one way and then back the other. The, the only thing I can think is that maybe the game just doesn't like playing with 24 missiles, but no, like, I have seen 24 missiles launched at once. It's, hmm, odd. Maybe they need an extra identify friend or foe over here? But they shouldn't do, because they're attached to the missile controller through these. You are, you know, attacking random blocks. 
Alfred Seeker. I really don't know. Hmm. Okay, let's try and manually fire it and see where we get to. Where am I? I'm over here. I don't want to be over here. I want to be over here. Yeah, half of them go in the other direction. I mean, not that that's really diagnostic right now, but it does seem that half of them go in a very different direction to the one half. Uh, just wait to get our ammo back. We, we drain ammo so fast. I think we actually need more ammo barrels. Because um, this, this system fires ridiculously, and we're wasting half of it. Why are you not working? Why, really? Why do half of you go in one direction and half of you go in the other? I was pointing this direction, right? And they did turn in this direction, but half of them didn't turn in this direction. Half of them are not getting the turn right. Okay, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. But we have another force. Not far away. What you got? Um, scrapper, Pequod. Merchant, I'm not too scared of you. And then there's another force over here. Orca? Come on. Come on. Come on. Urchin. Scuttle gun. If I could capture the Orca, that would be awesome. Hmm... Okay, I'm going to go put more ammo barrels in. Hup. Whee! Boing. To capture the Orca, though, we need a really cunning plan. Because it's flying and it's a big, bad enemy. It's worth about 60,000 metal, maybe a bit more than that, 70,000 metal. So, capturing it would severely improve our day. Can I flip you? No. Okay, um... me plonk you here. One, two, three. Oh. That is meant to be roof. No, I didn't replace the roof. I thought I replaced the roof for a moment. Nah. Nah, I didn't. I was worried. Right, now we can go F. Fill that out. What, over here? Yeah, we've got enough room. Get rid of that sign because it's in the way. And also resources. Not that that's actually that much resources. And then F. Alright, so we've increased our Amazon stockpile by about 40%. Um, yeah, we'll also increase the, the front size as well. There we go. So almost doubled. Okay, I feel good about that. A little bit worried if, you know, a shell actually gets in there. That's a lot of stuff to explode. I'm just going to have to hope it doesn't. What are we like outside? Um, now, one thing we have a lot of is wood. And I was wondering what we could do with wood. And I was thinking, you know, we can't make a sub. Wood floats. We can make a plane. We can make a helicopter. We could make, like, a giant um, helicopter flying pad that releases, like, tiny little planes. That would be awesome, but it's only really good for the offensive. But I, I think that's actually something I'd like to do, um, is create, like, a giant flying helipad type thing. How far are the enemy away? Um, I mean, we almost have to go to war with them. I don't think I have time to make it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to pull everyone out of play, let them get a little bit closer. And we're getting, like, metal while this is happening, so... At least we're, uh, we're earning on the job, as it were. <laughs> and I think I will engage them from here. Fleet. Put into play. And I'm gonna, um... 
Yeah, I'll cap on the home base. I still want to see what's happening. Right, are we firing missiles yet? No. No, we're opening up with our main gun. Oh, wow! They're opening up from long range against us! We must be in range of that main gun. I need to alter what the main gun settings are. This this gun should be opening up. It's a much bigger uh, gauge than it used to be. That's the issue. I haven't updated the range. Direction? No, there we go. Half the missiles did go that way again. No idea why. Look at them. Look at them. Half of them are going in the wrong direction. They aren't getting targeting data. They're getting fired, but they aren't getting targeting data. I don't know why they're not getting targeting data. That really frustrates me. I, I guess I have to just delete half of it. Do we have range on the missiles? Oh, it looks like that one will hit. No. That said, it looks like we might have killed something over there. Hey, what the hell are we hitting? Is that a sub? Oh my god, they have a submarine! <gasps> wow! This is awesome! It's also very dead. We haven't really got any anti-submarine weapons, but this will do. That's awesome! I want to see you more. I, w I wish I could have captured you. I would have studied you. I would have been your best friend. I would have learned everything there is to know about you. Oh, I've got to say, I am impressed. You are one sexy beast. It's a shame that your AI is dead and I'm not here to claim you. Yep, some of the missiles have retargeted. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Two damaged. Going under. And you're the only one left. Not that we have much that actually has range on you. Hello there. Oh, you're still targeting that guy. Fair enough. No, no, they've changed the target. They're coming over here, but they've run out of fuel. I wonder if you could make a missile that when it runs out of fuel turns into a torpedo. Yeah, no, it would be out of fuel, so it can't even torpedo. That said, the missiles are coming. Hello, hello, hello. This is going to be glorious. Yes. Are we done yet? No? That's a very high shell. Still not dead. There we go. That's more like it. We're up to 96,000 metal. Let's look at the map. Um, you're moving at 5.4 meters a second. So you will be here, you know, not incredibly slowly, but you will eventually get here. That's fine. I think we should build a fortress here that we can just leave for resources and then we can head out to take them on like face to face. Because we're almost ready in terms of resources and we do have the advantage when we can actually see the enemy because we have a lot of long range weaponry. I don't know about you. I really don't. I might need to disable you. Because you're wasting a lot of ammo and you're actually a liability to me at the moment. I really don't want to disable you, but... 
We'll let you live for now. If the comments can tell me what is wrong with you, maybe. That said, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna rip. I'm gonna rip you out. I'm sorry, it had to be that way. And I'll put the friend of folk lock back over here. Just for simplicity's sake if I have to move everything again. Oh no, I, I duplicated it. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll leave them ripped out. So that should mean that half of them are deactive. And I can check whether those are the ones that are working. Hup. Oh, come on. Hup. Yeah, it was those ones that are fine. It's the other side here. The one that's not touching the missile block. I wonder. Like, they say they're connected, but they're not getting tracking data. Why are you not getting tracking data? I don't know. I. Do you get... Yeah, you get connection there. Okay. Oh, I can't get a connection here. Yep, see that one is going in the wrong direction. Oh, two have gone in the wrong direction as well. Huh. Okay, I have no idea. Screw it. You're going down. Putting you back the way you were there. Right. If I ever figure out why that is, good. But anyway, for the rest of this episode, we're going to build a tiny little resource outpost. Um, just a tiny little one. One that will be able to sit at the back, be nice and cheap, and we can just leave in this zone here. Also, we're going to need to raise our outpost again. Up. 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 15, there we go. That's more like it. Right. Yep. God damn it. There we, there we go. Much better. Ooh, there's an orca coming. We want to capture the orca. How, how are we going to do that? I'll have to figure something out for that. Right, so if I load... Ah! God damn it. In fact, I will build it off camera and I'll just show you it because it's just going to be a tiny little, like, fortress outpost. A really, like, a knock-up one for them because I need to get something ready for that orca. So, if you will just excuse me, I'll be back in a second. And welcome back! Okay, so this is our new little fortress. I've designed it to look a bit like a garden shed. Inside we have the AI. We have this engine which provides enough power to be able to run... One, two, three, four, five, six resource gatherers on each side. That's 12 in total. And four oil drills. We should also probably put, um, thinking about it, resources, uh, fuel processor. Can I put you there? No, I cannot. In which case, you will go on the roof here. Fuel processor. Fuel storage tank. Should put fuel storage tanks all along here. And the idea behind that is it can transfer fuel using the transfery block thing. Uh, supply pump. So put the supply pump over here. And then be like, I want you to give everything. Don't accept ammo, don't accept any of that. Set aside to set the minimum value for each resource. You will not supply resources once you reach the minimum value. Okay, so yeah, I want these all down. I also want you to then have, um, what else? I want ammo barrels in here. You should never be on the front line, so you shouldn't get shot if you are. It's pretty much GG. I, I can accept that, you know? I can accept that. You know, you're gonna die. You're gonna die.
It's meant to be an incredibly cheap, sit behind the front lines, do the good stuff, get me the stuff to win the war, don't get involved. If you get involved, it's not a massive loss. There we go, 900 ammo, that's not great, but it'll do. I guess I can get more there and more there. Okay. And do I want ammo processor? Probably not. Spares crate. Yeah, we'll get a couple of those. And that should fill up with uh, spares at the cost of natural resources. And then should feed it to nearby vessels that want it. Wow, there's a lot of flashing there. It's made of wood. It's fairly cheap. Comes in at... Oh, hello. Our spares are filling up, I see. Go to build mode. Press V. General. It costs less than 5,000 metal and costs 15,000 natural. We've got loads of natural on tap. That's fine by me. The metal's really cheap. That's, that's good. That's really good. I'm going to call you the H... M... NB, Her Majesty's Naval Base, uh, and then you'll be called HMNB Alcatrazes. The HM, HMNB Alcatrazes. Her Majesty's Naval Base Alcatrazes. Although I'm not sure if it's Naval Base, it maybe should be Supply Depot or something. I don't know what the, the actual um, suffix is. That's a proper that's a prefix. Sorry, that's a proper prefix for a naval base. And one thing I want to do is I want to, as it was suggested, um, I'm not going to merge these fleets because they'll end up fighting each other. I want to go to the Eric, and I want to rename the HMIS Eric to the HMSS, which is Secret Service as opposed to Intelligence Service. HMSS Eric. And I will rename the fleet here to Depot. Mm, no, Resource Fleet. Except. Now, one thing I haven't given to the uh, the Alcatrazes is I have not given it um, the HMNB Alcatrazes. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it as that. Oh no, I need to save the actual HMNB Alcatrazes. I could have just done it like this. Yes. Uh, now, one thing I haven't done to this is I haven't given it a fortress AI. The reason is because this will then fight with our actual fortress to determine who goes in the center. And they'll do weird things like smashing into each other and merging and then it will be painful. It will be painful and horrible. So as we leave, I will give you a fortress AI. But I think this is going to be it for this episode. The enemy are getting pretty close. And what I want to do is I want to quickly retrofit a fighter plane that I've made to try and get into that orca and try and capture it alive. The reason I think it capturing it alive is worthwhile, and the reason I'm going to do it when I've said previously that it can be a little bit cheaty, is because the orca is a flying unit and well defended, and getting in is actually going to be a, a cost to us. We're going to have to build a unit to spe specifically enter that. So we're going to do a uh, air-to-air boarding action. We're probably going to fail. I did try on the stream the other day, and it kind of went terribly. But uh, yeah, I would really see we're going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And next time, we're going to try an air-to-air boarding action. It's going to go horribly wrong. Until then, stay shiny.